Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Way of the Wyvern, because this is the last, the last or rather the final Salty U tournament potentially ever, as uh, just Dave is uh, stopping to run this tournament series. However, let's take a mon moment and thank Dave for everything he has done for the Blaze Blue community. We've been enjoying the Salty U on a bi weekly basis lately and before that even on a weekly basis for quite some time. After all, there are 49 plus 14, so more than 60 installments of this. So this means more than a year of Blaze Blue tournaments in Europe and I'm up against a very special opponent, Nick CCP. You will know, you probably know him as the UFA champion under the name Tunic. CCP, if you've watched that uh, anime Illuminati video about this, and as we know, he's probably he's one of the strongest Tao Kaka players in Europe. Uh, he's probably the second strongest, just after Thunder. But uh, as we say this, um, I'm having a quite lead, one round ahead. Again, I had to sort all these things out, so I couldn't focus too much on my heroic deeds here. And now I'm trying to uh, zone him out, but he's trying to find his, to find his way in with Tao, and he found his way in. So all that's left now is to have um, for me to get out, or otherwise I will just get pressured and pressured and pressured. Tao's pressure is kinda scary. And um, yeah, the 6A meant to enter air, but I tried to jump out and got hit in the start up of my jump. And here on this point I try to see puff me. So that's definitely something I need to uh, watch out for. Like usually I try to just feel the gaps. But of course feeling the gaps means that you are very susceptible to getting beat up by uh, um, and to get beaten by frame traps. And that's exactly what happens there. I'm still trying to make this work somehow. A huge hit for my side, but of course, Nick has a burst on the table, so this won't quite kill. I think it wouldn't have killed even if I spent meter there, but he wanted to go safe. And yeah, my Lindworm sadly costs me the round, and that is actually huge. As of course, um. Yeah, I would have needed that momentum going on forward against such a strong opponent. But let's see, uh, very strong pressure and here again, C Fafnir didn't come out because I got frame trapped. Knockdown. Yeah, I'm just content blocking there for a while, but yeah, jump out really JC gets punished by Tao 6A and I'm locked in the corner again. At this point I have meter so I should counter assault probably. I don't know if yeah I wanted to counter assault and got hit by it. Because I mistimed it. So it was Ridges that is an attack and not as a counter assault. Which of course is, n is never that good, but again, in Blaze Blue it's fairly mild compared to Grand Blue with uh, Raging Strike and Raging Shame, where you ascend action, where you accidentally get, get a very laggy move out if you miss time your uh, counter assault. So yeah, I knew something was coming, but of course at this point I was looking for a C Fafni or B Fafni, but didn't react in time. Still, this could be anyone's game at this point. Of course, not that much time left, and uh, Tao Kaka's overdrive very strong to mix up your opponent. And Nikke takes the first game from me. So let's see if I can at least get one point up. The first game looks very promising, but in the end, a Limpworm and. Uh, yeah, several missed Fafni opportunities cost me the game, as well as um, trying to Fafni in gaps that were frame traps. Here, very nice movement from Nick, avoiding my B Fafni. 
And I believe at some point in the match he also punishes my Blue Fafnir, which is not something that many players do. Just uh, Cream de la Cream. As in they bait and punish. And here I get a uh, throw out. Definitely, sometimes I'm very good at throw uh, escapes, but today is not today. Clean 4k, uh, 4k damage combo from Tao. This character is a low damage character, quote unquote. So, yeah, with the right hits, many characters can, uh, can get lots of strong. Yeah, can get lots of damage. Of course, Kagura being the very prime example because he doesn't need a specific hit. Nice mesh there on my, uh, on my stagger to be. Hate to see it, of course, but here he punishes it. Punishes my uh, beef half here. Still get this hit in. I run to reposition. Doesn't matter in the end. And again, he, he stops another of my JC attempt to 6A. So those really those top players are always ready for it. And it's definitely one of my bad habits to, to use JC too much. Especially not to um, cover space, but to get in and hit them with an overhead, which is not the way to use it. So yeah, I continue on the loser's bracket. I have to fight a against Byakurei, who put, in, put up a valiant fight against Rakvam. And yeah, my, my Izanami experience is pretty much limited to pretty much only him and uh, that one guy at my locals. His name I won't mention because he dodges me and um, <laughs> and Star, but of course Star is completely walling me and um, Yakure also looks very strong right now. Again, he, he was able to fight to, um, to put up a valiant fight against Arkham. Arkham being pretty much the strongest European Hazama player. Definitely a player I lose on, lose by default against. So in this matchup, of course, is an army. You see, queen of pressuring, and of course, everything is pretty safe. It's very difficult to find the gaps there. But of course, I saw a few overheads where I could have seen something and taken my turn back. Which is essentially what many matchups with Kaiba Bate uh, um, boil down to. Find the right spots to see for me to take your turn back and then uh, steamroll. And before that, of course, honest mutual with big buttons and long recovery. Again, not the best stuff from myself here because I could get similar damage without the reset. But uh, yeah, we take what we take and what we get. Okay, at this point. Nice Tifa from the nice side. Keep me on the momentum. And yeah, rip cage blocking the C J C. I know that of course um, Kagura can deal lots of barrier damage when uh, when she is in rip cage. So that's why I try to also use a little bit of uh, other buttons, but it doesn't seem that um, useful. Unless, of course, maybe when she is very low on barrier. But the uh, huge problem is this barrier is um, that, of course, she regains it fairly quickly. So um, I believe that would be the one change they had to do to Izanami to really make her barrier gauge um, get back up very slowly. Which would obviously mean that she would have a rough time against Amane, but um, let her have a bad matchup. <laughs> it won't hurt the world. At this point, ah, no confirm on my JB there. Red, opposite 6B there. Ah, again, drop confirm. But they are in danger, in danger state. Like, ah, I could have finished it again. So much fumbling in the end. I still take this round and thus the game. So I'm up one game against Yakure. Another one to take the set and continue the last and final assault you for potentially ever. I'm a broken record, but I have to can't stress this enough. 
such a great tournament series and uh, so sad it's gone. Definitely leaving uh, a void in my heart. Yeah, I use this uh, grab to get the barrier back up. Rip cage completely keeping her safe. And you see, because her combos are so long, like with exit Axel here, which takes forever, almost half of her barrier is already up. And just a little bit more, and she would have had full barrier again. And after Oki, it's very, very difficult to contest her, of course. And Kadamos hitting her. And here, ah, I definitely threw. I got a little bit too. Um, I'm too nervous, probably, because I didn't get the right converter on it. At the very least, I get to come from here, but I I dropped the 3C and that it was very devastating for me. Pretty much broke my spirit. I still remember how I uh, was like, oh no, I dropped and I got into such a bad position afterwards. Like, I would have had such a great position, the corner and Oki, and instead I get punished, get put into the corner, and Yakurei has recovered all of the barrier, which means another rip cage is up. Or oh, is about to be here to get done, but well, that was actually an excellent uh, overdrive from them, but again, they didn't continue the combo, but doesn't matter as the bits get me. You hate to see it. And for everyone not familiar with Blaze Blue enough, this is Honest High Tier versus uh, Dishonest Top Tier. So yeah, Yakure definitely the demon, the villain here with the top tier pick. Bro is definitely playing to win. Also indicated by the stage that we are playing on because it, it was one of his choosing, choosing and he used the stage, which is one of the most boring ones, but of course one of the best performing ones because there isn't much on the screen. Other than a few cloud textures moving around and this pillar. And yeah, at this point, he's not taking uh, any hurt me. And again, I said before, but my spirit was pretty much broke after that. So we see pick up this. Yeah, I wanted to grab them, but unfortunately, misspaced it. Because, as if you don't know, grabbing is definitely the one thing you can do when fighting with an army. And that is why Hakuman does fairly well against her, because all of his uh, counters are hit grabs, and then she gets grabbed. So that's great. Yeah, I get put in the corner again. Very unfortunate. And the sea puffin that was blocked definitely uh, 4.7k damage, almost Kagura damage is out of the And uh, oh, that's a kill. Pretty much. So yeah, and the end I crumbled. I'm still fairly, uh, fairly proud of my performance. It wasn't too bad for the final salty EU. Uh, make sure to give all your love to our lovely Just Dave. This obviously put a void into my heart as well as my uh, YouTube schedule because, as you know, Way of the Wyvern probably is the biggest format on the channel and I'd like to continue with lots more Blaze Blue content but right now I don't know what to do in this case so please leave me your requests in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe. Also, make sure to join all the other Blaze Blue events, which mean uh, the ones by Hard Edge, run by Maho Shoujo. Also, I run the Ikaruga Disciple Festival on there, me and Ancestor to be precise. And make sure to join Potatoes uh, Blaze Blue EU Open Regrown for weeklies and monthly tournaments, team tournaments, and normal regular tournaments. And yeah, a bit of a sad note, but I hope you enjoyed this episode of Way of the Wild One, and see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!